cause of last night's fire isn't yet clear, but the effect was devastating. By this morning, all that remained at the Central Hotel was a smouldering shell. The fire appears to have started on the ground floor at the rear of the reception desk shortly after half past 12. The hotel has 35 bedrooms and there were about 60 guests staying. Downstairs, a cabaret show had just finished and people were starting to leave. Within minutes of the start of the fire, the entire building was engulfed in flames. Many of the guests were able to escape through the doors or down a fire escape at the back of the building, but as the fire spread, people trapped upstairs began to jump out of windows in panic. Witnesses told me there was chaos and confusion as the fire raced through the building. One of them was the hotel receptionist, Well, Christina I left Clark. the hotel about 20 past 12 last night. Everything was in order. And I went home, and I wasn't home until I heard the... I was only home a very short while when I heard fire brigades all over the place. So I got up and looked out the window, and I thought it was a hotel further down the town. So I just got out of bed immediately and up the town, and I was told it was the centre, where I was just after leaving. I came on ahead up the town, and it was a scene of chaos. Those women screaming, looking for their children, those children missing. Everything was just chaos in the street, panic. Everyone was panicking at the stage. So there was, there was, people, there was people missing all over the place. I gather since there was a lot of them found, but there's a lot still that hasn't answered. Were there people jumping out the windows, climbing there down was, the drain yes, pipes? climbed out, yeah. There was a lot of people rescued off the roof. They got home to the flat roof, someone was rescued. Then there was people that was asleep in bed that hadn't a hope. Was there a lot of panic at the time? Yeah, there was a lot of panic and a lot of people looking uh, for their relatives and saying their relatives was in this room and that room and uh, people were trying to get to these rooms. There were some young fellows actually did a lot of very, very good work. We climbed up the spoutings and the down pipes and took people out and fired them down and threw them on down to people down below who caught them and that. There was a few uh, casualties in that particular matter, but in general there was a lot of good work done by these people uh, in saving a lot of lives. Could have been a lot worse. How long was it before the fire got so bad that you couldn't go into the building to get out survivors? Oh, within minutes. Within minutes, like, it, it got that bad between it and the smoke. Uh, it was within, I'd say within about five minutes after I arrived, like it was so bad that uh, nobody could have attempted to go near the building. Six fire brigades were at the scene within minutes and they prevented the flames spreading to other buildings in the street, but they couldn't control the fire in the hotel. Last night three bodies were recovered and this morning the grim task of pulling the remains of badly burnt people, many of them children, from the ruins continued. The guards say that in some cases the bodies were so badly charred that identification will be difficult. Among the dead are four members of one family from Kildare and a brother and sister from another family. Until late this afternoon, a number of people were still unaccounted for, though it's difficult to say exactly how many people were in the hotel at the time as all records were destroyed in the fire.